with Kendrick. I'm going with Game. I need y'all opinion. Did y'all hear this Cardi B freestyle? Like what? Yeah, I heard it. That's what's up. I'm glad you heard it. I needed everybody opinion tonight. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> because this is like almost a little too thin because I got my boy Joe Button coming in <laughs> having his opinion on this, and I like what he said. And I don't know if you heard it, Clyde. I'm gonna play a clip that okay. you hear a little content. Did he watch the video? Oh, it's a video for the freestyle joint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, for, I, uh, seen it on, I seen it on TikTok. It was like an audio clip. I feel like you're playing homage to outside of just Missy with a sample. Yeah, for everybody. Real. The 90s uh, female artists in particular. Yes. But, um, you know, I've almost kind of had my complaints about samples. I actually like the way she sampled this beat. I didn't have no problem with it. I had no issue with it either. It wasn't overly, you know, like, like, you, like, like you said, I feel like she was just paying homage. I think yeah, probably because she, she didn't have no hook too either like that. Yeah, she pay, she's paying homage through the outfits, through the makeup, the hair, the and also the beat. Now, after we done said what we liked, let's be clear, Missy Elliott, she's a bitch. This, not even close. Not even close. Whether it's the hook, whether it's Missy Elliott versus... Nah. Come up in the clap. Don't stop. No, I'm like, what the, mm -hmm. like <laughs> the video. Just the video. The right. visuals. You ain't. It's, it's it's not too many that can top Missy Elliott yeah. in that aspect. Like it really ain't. I respect Cardi for what she did, though. I do, but man, not close. Mm -mm. Um, is this a good way for her as a comeback, though? I think that's the thing because she. Ain't dropped nothing in years. We talking like 2019, 20, 2021, 2022, 2023. It's 2024. She didn't drop nothing with make. Wasn't she on make on make the style? I'm talking about like a full oh, project. Herself. Oh, okay. Yeah, like an album. She ain't dropped no album. She don't drop some singles here and there, but she ain't dropped no albums. Do I do I do I think this is like a strong enough cut? She didn't even go on tour. And you know, COVID came in and kind of stalled some things, but still. Also, she got pregnant too. So y'all got to you got to remember her album dropped. She won the Grammy. She was pregnant, and COVID happened. Mm. And then she got pregnant again after a while. So like, a lot of stuff has been happening to her in her life. Versus just making music. Plus, she done a lot of influencing and, you know, being a, a lot of influencer work and stuff like that. So, but what about Nikki? But, but she, but she also, Nikki got, Nikki got pregnant one time. I know, but you, outside of even Nikki getting pregnant, what about all the stuff that was like surrounding her going on with her, with the controversy, especially with her husband and her still saying, I'm going to drop you. I'm gonna drop not only music, I'm gonna drop an album. Why y'all talk? That's cause she a veteran and she got that work ethic. She got a different work ethic for Cardi. You gotta look at when Cardi came in the game, and plus Cardi had a had, had a big machine pushing her and all of that versus like Nikki. Yeah. Nikki was grinding, and then that's when once she got her buzz going, then she got the the push from the uh Machine, but you know she was definitely do both of them did their thing as far as grinding before they got where they at. Down there, yes, it was it there. was a different it was different type of grinding though. Nikki was grinding yeah, as a different rapper, times, Cardi, and Cardi was grinding more as a uh like an influencer because you mm -hmm. know Car a lot of people knew Cardi for what she was saying on the internet and then and her role in loving hip hop than they did as a rapper. Cause it was like, oh, did she rap? You know what I mean? Yeah, Not, Nikki I'm, was rapping. DVD. Exactly. Exactly. But like, that's why exactly. I said different times, though. It was different times. Yes. Both yes. Of them. Yes. And that's the that's a different another thing. It's different times. Plus, like the whole pandemic shut everything down, and I do, I just I don't understand why Cardi's team did not do a tour for invade like an invasion of privacy tour. 
she should have toured her album, her Grammy winning album. Like y'all tell me somebody won a Grammy. What do you not best, feel? Best album? <laughs> Why did like, she not I, make that music in between that COVID time? Like, look at what Tory Lanez was doing with the whole. Um, what was she got pregnant. After that, though, she was not pregnant. She got pregnant. Like, she she was pregnant when when her and uh, when Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B performed WAP at the Grammys, which was after was a little bit after COVID. It was probably like two twenty twenty one when they performed because that was. She was pregnant then. So, <laughs> but what so, about WAP? I know I get COVID and everything. That song went number one. Why not drop a project after that? I don't know. I don't That's, know. Because a lot of us been asking that same question. I don't know. It seemed like every time she do something that, that catch some steam, she don't drop nothing. Because Up did pretty well, too. Mm. Especially on uh, TikTok. So I don't understand. Because that was a big... TikTok dance that a lot of people was doing. A, so I don't I don't understand why where the music was why it didn't come then. I don't know. Cause I thought she was gonna drop an I'm album a, when she dropped up. I'm gonna play this clip from Joe Button, but I don't know if I got all of what he said because he added context on the fact that what he said about Cardi as far as her being afraid to drop some. And the fact that Nikki was trying to line up dropping at the same time she was dropping. That's why she kept delaying her project as far as Spring Friday, too. Because she thought she was going to drop. And she wanted to drop the same time as her. <clears throat> and I love what they said because they said they could have created almost like the woman version of 50 versus Kanye. And that was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what they would have been. My thing about her being so-called afraid is the pressure. She Her debut album was rap album was of the year. People want to people are forever going to compare her to that. And that's that pressure of trying to live up to what she's already done when you when people and people just she don't want to hear that oh you peak your first go round and blah 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 she didn't want to hear that shit. She got success more than I think she was anticipating for mm. that album. Like way beyond what she anticipated. And you talking about yeah. number one um songs, like every song going near there, number one, number one, number one. And she went mm -hmm. again. So yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think she was expecting that type of success that early, the way it went. Because she is a superstar. <laughs> she was yeah. a superstar yeah. from that point on. And I'm not talking about like she was on Taylor Swift superstar level. I'm gonna say that Beyonce, she was up there. Everybody like Cardi B. Yeah, everybody knew her name. And everybody wanted her to do an interview because her interviews were going viral because she know how to how to bring that uh, virality to mm -hmm. an interview because she's she has that charisma. She a Libra, like we we so char charismatic. Um, <laughs> outside of what even Joe Budden said though about the Cardi B situation, because I think I got the clip more so of him saying what he felt about the whole phenomenon of girl, girl rap being over and not so much as uh, women in rap, but more so of, I think the phenomenon of a new woman coming into the rap game, like a sexy red or mm -hmm. um, Mary to sell your life. Somebody just coming a uh, gorilla, my bad, not me, but more so gl gorilla or sexy red. Yeah. Uh, that shit go hard. Uh, that, is, that song still is. Yeah. That need to, she she got to come back if that's the one. She, that's yeah, like, and I was like, they they tried to holler 